how do I manage my social life, YouTube life, academic life, life? I, I how do I do it? I don't know. I honestly don't know. All right, let me tell you. So I haven't mastered it, you know, completely as yet. But I found some tips and tricks how to get around it and get so many things completed. Let me share what works for me, and you can probably apply this to your life, and probably balance is going to be found. But then again, when I think of it, you know, to be honest, I basically find balance, or I basically do it all, because I think big, <laughs> like. Think big, do big, try to rise big, balance big. Stick around. <laughs>up youtube welcome back to my channel if you're new here i am david adam my channel promotes a healthy body healthy mind healthy smile and in today's video i'm sharing with you how i balance it all how i balance my youtube life my social life my academic life my life in general i've been getting this request from so many persons asking me how do you do it all david you are a part of so many different things you you do so much you post a lot on instagram <laughs> how do you do it all and to be honest, I really don't know, but I've sat and I think about it, and here I am, sharing with you how I do it. This room is sponsored by Solas Gain Inc. As a matter of fact, let me show you around Solas. professional, entrepreneur, or are you looking for a comfortable place to hold a few meeting sessions? Then look no further. Solos Guyana offers a wide variety of office spaces that would make things so much easier for you. With their modern industrial office spaces and a very efficient support team, your new startup business in Guyana will totally appreciate a professional and sophisticated image. For more information, contact them on 501 0620 or DM them on Facebook at Solos Guyana Inc. or on Instagram at Solos Guyana Inc. I am David Adams and I endorse Solos Guyana Inc. So how do I do it all? For those of you who are new here on my channel, let me bring you up to speed with my life. So I am a final year dental student at the University of Guyana. Being a part of final year, I am a part of the university and so I have to study. I have to study day and night every single day i have a family so i have to do family things i have to be a part of the house i have to be active so i have to wash hairs like every regular person i have to I don't cook i don't cook thanks mommy for always cooking <laughs> i mean i can't cook eh but i don't cook but i have to do house chores my bedroom clean the bathroom wash wears feed the dogs regular stuff so i have to do that i am active in my church i'm one of the youth leaders in my church and so that usually takes time to plan things i'm a part of a volunteer organization the u.s embassy youth action network where i'm the vice president i usually would have certain tasks given to me so i have to be active there i have friends i like nice expensive things so i like my own space i like to go out i like to do the most i have to plan youtube which is very hard because sometimes i have to literally sit down and plan things and think and then sometimes it don't work out then i have to think of a way to shoot videos oh my god <laughs> friend listen it's a lot and the hardest thing is finding balance and finding motivation to get up out of bed to do all these things. But nevertheless, I usually get it done. So the first thing I'm going to let you know is that it is very important that you get a planner. Like, I have a planner. Get a planner. I mean, you don't have to get a big fancy something. You can have a really nice book that helps you to jog down the stuff that you have to do. I find writing makes things so much easier and it allows you to get the information out of your head. Because most of the times what happens is that, oh, we have everything stored up inside here. It's like, okay, I have to go to the market, I have to study, I have to do all these things. But how do I do it? And I think when you write, you usually see it there on paper. You don't really need a book or a planner per se because I usually use a sticky pad 
in my room as well as the planner but the sticky plan in my room it has monday tuesday wednesday thursday to sunday and i would make my notes there on the wall so when i get up in the morning it's right there in my face and i'm seeing every single thing there so that helps but my planner helps because it's on the go with me in my bag and so i always have it and i always look through and say oh like today it says shoot video at two o'clock <laughs> so yeah getting a planner really helps the second thing that i find that helps me to balance or to get my things complete is to, is to be totally strict with yourself like i am so strict on myself not all the time so don't let me come and sound as, as if oh i have everything all together because i don't i'm trying it helps these tips that i'm giving to you it helps me a lot a lot 90 percent of the times because the other five percent is when sleep hits and when <sighs> that don't care spirit just come over you and just be like whatever like I'm tired of life and i'm tired i think every adult person <laughs> like when you're greeting somebody how are you doing boy i'm tired y'all how are you week being tired everybody above 21 is be tired oh my gosh if you know that you have to study then it is you need to study and what i do is that i remember the times i would have failed like i would have remembered the times when i did poorly in an exam and it was all due to procrastination and not doing what i said i would have done so that memory mm, it wasn't a good feeling so i always say listen get your stuff together david get your stuff together because you don't feel and who likes feeling nobody likes feeling number three that helps to me since we're on planning things out i think planning the day before or the night before usually would help for me like i think planning before the day it helps you to think things through you sit in the night and you just plan i need this for tomorrow i need that for tomorrow so when you get up in the morning it's so much easy for you to just open your planner or look on your wall or wherever you jot the information down and say hey i need to do x y and z and stick through it planning the day before helps because in the morning you just get up and so you have to be in that rush because when you're rushing you don't get a time to plan out effectively what you have to do and you find that you miss a few things so planning the day before or the night before really helps so plan the day before number four i've learned this one the hard way learn to say no come on you gotta say no say it with me no in spanish no let's say it in french no let's say it in japanese now <laughs> learning to say no is one of the hardest things we as young people usually would have to face or many persons recently jelana my friend recently jelana and i had this conversation where we were saying you know it was so hard for us to say no but we're managing we're getting along <laughs> but learning to say no is one of the hardest things that many persons have and so practice learning to say no not only say no to people but saying no to yourself as well because we like to binge series we like to binge eat we like to binge going all over the place everything pop knock your face show come on so you gotta learn how to say no to certain things set your limits set your boundaries respect your priority if you're saying that your school is number one priority or you're saying that god is your number one priority then listen you gotta really show god or really show school or your academic that hey you are my priority and i'm not putting anybody else over you in respecting your priorities you must know what are your priorities like you must sit down and say okay what is it that is very important to me and that i would never trade and put them in order so that you know okay if this comes up what is who has the more highest priority yeah and then you always stick to it so respect your priority lastly what i think that helps me too is time blocking like i mean it doesn't help for every single body but time blocking helps me basically whereby on my planner i set timings for every single thing that i do so i set oh i'm waking up at five o'clock i'm having breakfast at six from the beginning to end before i go to bed in the night i just time it out now this doesn't help for some people and i totally get it so you don't have to beat up yourself for time blocking and it doesn't work out it doesn't work for everybody but it works to me setting my timings etc and lastly i usually just enjoy what i do i enjoy studying i enjoy reading i enjoy planning youtube content i enjoy editing i enjoy being a youth leader i enjoy i just enjoy life i just live life and have fun doing it because if you don't enjoy what you do you'll find it being very stressful and very boring and you're gonna be stressed like 
are very serious you will be stressed and it will tell on your body mind soul spirit everything so do it with joy take yourself out sometimes like i usually take myself out to breakfast dates <laughs> like that's one of my things that i do by myself go to breakfast dates have coffee relax sit think refocus jot down how my week went jot down how my month went do some reflection you'll be surprised how much it helps so take yourself on dates well you don't really have to go to cafes or you don't really have to go to anywhere fancy you can just go to the sea wall and get some fresh air go in your yard go in the garden go in the when last you went to the national park and jog so there you go that's how i do it all it's nothing big it's no big magical something that i do i just do it and i enjoy doing what i do there are times i procrastinate there are times where i am so tired there are some times where i just want to sit all day and sleep eat ice cream watch television i just want to live it up sometimes but i can't because i have a goal and i have a vision and i have so much different things that i want to do as the average person i really hope this video would have been uh, helpful to some of you and you can use or incorporate some of these tips that i'm giving into your life to balance of course these things don't happen overnight you have to really work on yourself with it you have to really sit plan things out and just see it happen but it don't happen right away you know you just gotta work on it consistently and you will see progress trust me I am David Adams. My channel promotes a healthy body, healthy mind, healthy smile. Remember to like, comment, share, subscribe. And remember to just stay happy, stay healthy, brush twice a day, and floss daily if you haven't. Oh my gosh, before I go, I forget to let y'all know. You guys see how my beard is connecting? Oh my gosh. Look, I mean, this part is very seedy, seedy, and you got some space and things going on. But look at this, you know? This is amazing. This is, oh my gosh. So, give it some time. It will flourish. It will be rich. Mm. My God. God is real. <laughs> but guys. <laughs>